Yo guys, it's Kiralis and welcome back everybody to the Modern House 15 Let's Build. This is episodo numero dos. And I gotta say, using the zoo shaders when it rains, it looks absolutely incredible. I can't really build in it, but dang it, it looks amazing. So, everybody, you know what, let me just do this first and uh, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for the nice feedback from episode one. You guys just nailed it. So big potato heart at ya. And you know what? I've been flying about to this place for about five minutes and I got some ideas, all right? Uh, we're gonna take it slow and we're gonna make some progress. And I know a lot of you guys are upset because I'm using the world edit commands. So sorry about that. But it's kind of convenient using like, you know, the little axe thing here and there. What I was thinking here, you know what? This might not be the most wise idea ever, but if I change those and make the, like humongous windows instead, let me just see how this looks. You know what? This is just trial and error. So don't go rage bananas mode. We might do this instead because I might think that look is going to look a lot more awesome in the in the end. But what am I thinking of today? You know what? I think we're going to do some switching and changes here. Well, not really changes, but what I was thinking, you know what, this shape which goes here, right, as you can see, this little border. Let's take it out by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and maybe on, a, on the 11th, bring it up again. Why not just do a little frame here, which goes all the way from here to that roof? And I know this is, you know, this is like a prototype, so we're gonna see how this works out. Where is my axe? Where has that gone? And hopefully everybody's doing fantastic. You know what? I'm kind of like, you know, I'm doing really well, by the way, but it's still kind of semi semi humid here in Sweden. So it's kind of like, uh, what to do, what to do, take a pull. So if we set those with the X and do set 159, which should be the clay, right? Bam, bam. And if people are wondering how I could use the world edit commands on single player, it's just because I'm not playing single player. This is a kind of little local bucket server, which I'm running here on my computer just to use the world edit. And you'll see now, we bring it there. So what I was thinking in the previous episode, just let me just tell you here, right? In the previous episode, I was thinking of having a pool area up here about, so that road will be going all the way up there as well. But I was thinking of having a pool here, but why not just bring the pool to this side instead? So that is something which I'm gonna go for, all right? And let me just see here, let me just think, how big do we want this to be? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Counting with Kiralis. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 maybe. Just because we can. And that's gonna be the size of the house, I guess. It's gonna be pretty humongous though. Hmm. But you know what? <laughs> Let's try it out and see what we what we get in the end. So this is like like goes out by 11 blocks from that wall and goes out in the back by 22 blocks. So that's gonna be a little frame here for the house and it's gonna be a little bit slow progress here because you know what? Building and thinking at the same time. It ain't my strong side. Well, I'm not really crap at it, but it's not my strong side whatsoever. So let me just see here. Burp, burp, burp. 159. And that kind of covers that up. As you can see, this kind of looks pretty legit and let's just cover it up all the way to about here for now, all right? And we're gonna see, I know it's gonna look really derp now, but bam, <laughs> we got it, boop boop. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one, bye bye. So that is the little platform. And you know what, I kind of think that is gonna look pretty amazing as we got the little overhanging thing. Yeah, and what we could do as well, look at, look at my cookie. We can block this off, right? And what we could do here is some type of little balcony area feature. We can have a little window here. Let me see here. There's two, two blocks. Let me just get in here. So in the middle, we can have a little window going. And then we can have a little roofing going on this baby. So no, let me just go from... Oh, I could actually go all the way from here just for now. Just so we can see how this looks. Bam, to this point. I know it's not the same, me doing that on World Edit, guys, but trust me, you don't really want to watch me doing this <laughs> hand by hand on camera, because that's going to be really, really boring. And that can be a little window, and here we can have like an upstairs balcony type of thing. So, for example, if I start placing my wall here, 
and go all the way here across. Don't worry, we can have some windows and such later on, but this is just to shape it out and make it like look like, hey, this looks pretty cool. You go from here to this point, and that's gonna be, let me see, what is the command? I forgot to bring up the ID, so I think it was 5-1, right? Bam. I don't think that looks too shabby. That's gonna be GG's. All right, so let me just see. I always, you know what, what the easiest thing is, we're gonna have a window here, maybe jump away three blocks and have another window, which is gonna be like a bit bigger window and stuff like that. So it's gonna be c coming in later stage. And uh, what was I saying? I forgot, I'm not either about, all right? Let me see here, as thinking, we can have this kind of opened up, we can have a staircase going down to the pool area. Here we can maybe break it off, hereabouts, have a little window going, or something. This wall here can be brought up to the upstairs area, I guess. Yeah, you know what, I always love doing episodes once uh, on Let's Builds. It's just a thing, you know what, because shaping out the front of the house is like one thing which I think is the most funniest thing to do. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna get the front, then stitching up the house, it's not the boring part, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of the, the tricky part. Because the front, every everybody can build like a front of the house, but you know what, kind of connecting the shapes together, that is the tricky part. Something like that. So that shape goes all the way from here, as you can see, goes, goes up here, and then this is going to be curving up and going around the house in a later stage. So I'm not worried about that shape at this point. We might be worried about that later on, but that's what I'm going for. Although... Should we bring it all the way up or should we just... You know what, it doesn't really matter. Because in this now, we can have like a window shaped out and stuff like that in a later stage. So don't worry, don't worry, we get that. And that can be a humongous window. But the thing is, since I'm using the shaders mod, alright? Um, I kind of want to do the normal glass penises because it kind of kind of lets the light through them. And uh, not that we can see any light here because we got a roof in. Hey, you, now, you don't do that. But it kind of still emits emits light through it, and um, or lets light in. And with the color ones, I don't think the Shaders mod can really totally understand that, and it kind of derps up a bit. So I think I'm going to be using those those normal ones instead, and I may, might change the roof on the front as well. But that is a kind of cool, cool looking feature, so let's keep that and keep rolling with some stuffs. Here, for example, Oh, baby. You know what? This can go be going all the way up as well. Uh, just, oops, no. That's gonna be maybe, let me see here. Gray comes here, and then we can have white. I think that that might be kinda semi-GG's, I guess, right? If that goes all the way up as well, I need to do world edit here on those later on, because if I break one of those, every single sign breaks, and <laughs> I don't wanna do that again. It's kinda, kinda obnoxious, placing those, trust me. Been there, done that. You go away, you be whitish. Uh, so white, white, black, no, black here, and gray here. And that can even go through the roof or some type. You know what, this is, I know, some people, I, when I asked you guys what you think about the little shape in the previous episode, some of you were like, yeah, it looks amazing. So I was like, oh no, total derp, to or remove it, please. But I think, you know what, it kind of looks kind of looks pretty awesome. If you come from this angle, right, I kind of like that idea. It's kind of like, you know, a little wall that kind of gives you some structure and detail and kind of looks pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. And uh, meanwhile, while I'm building this, what is going on? I am going to Gamescon next week. So I'm a bit stressed out on the video making department because I need to make some stuff uh, while I'm gone. Uh, you know what, I bought a new laptop so I'm gonna be making some videos on, on the move I guess as well. But let me see, going all the way here. Maybe even one more. Like that. Cannot, cannot get some light in I guess. Titty titty with a bit. But I'm really stressed out. I'm not, I'm not going until like Tuesday next week or Monday next week but Problem is that um, I got some family stuffs going on now, so I'm gonna be pretty busy in real life. So I'm kind of a bit stressed out, but hopefully every everything's gonna work out. Hopefully everybody's not gonna just unsubscribe because I'm I'm a gunner. Uh, so yeah, hope hope at least. You know what? Remove you, 
and this shape is going to be just continuing around this goes all the way to here maybe so if I do this and do you like this 5 1 BAM hey yeah <laughs> you know what <laughs> let's keep it for now we can always like remove it and change it but I really do like like you know what all the shapes here are pretty pretty amazing we need to have a little front door and a uh, front door yeah you can maybe say front door it's gonna be like a little balcony door I guess and that's gonna be coming from let me see grab some window panes and those Um. It's gonna be coming from the upstairs, so we can just go out on this balcony and enjoy the view, even though it's kind of blocked off by a glass wall. Oops. But does it really matter now, does it? No. So you go here, you go there. Can we see it? it kind of looks the same as down below. But we need to kind of shape it out as well, so let me just grab some materials. And you know what? I did episode one, not long ago, right? And I usually do it like that. I do record one episode, which is was episode one. This is just to add some maybe some decoration and shapes. You know, that's that's gonna work out. Um I usually record one episode, put it up, have it channel a few days, and just read some feedback and stuff. And the cool thing about it is like, you know, a lot of you have been posting like Twitter pictures of your own like creations based on this house and that is pretty pretty amazing so guys <laughs> thank you so much it was really cool to see and keep doing that because i love it kind of gives me ideas as well you know what i like that now if we just think we're gonna have a pool on the downstairs here right so we're gonna maybe bring it out like this this wall can be just brought out here maybe to about you know what let's just keep it for now then we can have some trees all right so i'm gonna actually extend those trees going all the way let me see how do we end on that side we end kind of on a wall but that is a fact that we don't really know how long this wall will be so you know what oops uh, let's just do this and uh, there we go and for now we're just gonna be doing this Boop. from here to here and set that set gravel bam and then we can have some trees going like every second like is there a yeah boop 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 and boop damn there's a lot of trees you know we might remove some because it kind of looks semi derp how is that it's like one should be like you know what let's bring that in here just for now we can always extend it later on and for the trees you know what let's make them maybe a bit shorter I'm not really sure. That's four on that. Let's make those about three blocks in height. And I think that's gonna be working out. So yeah, Gamescon. I'm look really looking forward to it. I'm gonna meet a generic B for the first time. Uh, I'm gonna uh, meet up with Doc as well. And I've seen Doc a bunch of times now, it kind of feels like. But, but it's really cool. So that's gonna be an amazing experience going away again. Let me see here. This can be deleted, right? We can have a little wall feature here. So if we just think, okay, what we could do is extend that path here and now i'm thinking and that's just because i kind of went totally semi-quiet can delete that feature i'm thinking how many blocks should we take it in that's taken in by one block so you know what let's do that as well let's just go and do this instead so that's gonna be a little path going here those will be removed and tweaked then we can have a little pool area but i'm gonna divide it a bit right so let's say we're gonna have a path going like here for example right uh, might be true humongous i don't know let me see here because i was thinking let's do this instead so let's say we have a little path going here all right there's gonna be a little don't worry <laughs> we're gonna tweak it later on uh this is gonna be a little wall divider of some type uh, we can have it maybe even higher up or no you know what since we're gonna bring this shape out that's gonna be only one inward path and that's gonna look really derpalicious so we need to have this here otherwise it's gonna be fail 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 yeah you know what extend that just on all the shapes needs to be kind of symmetrical right so now we got two paths on each side that kind of looks really cool by the way still thinking we should maybe bring that out by one block just kind of kind of spice it up a bit there we go perfect so then we're gonna have a little back or front entrance to the pool uh, we're gonna have some pool on this side and a pool on the other side first let me just go this this goes let me see how you go you go around like that please do bear in mind this wall will be longer in a later stage so don't worry about that now all right i'm just gonna build this for now 
so we get the shapes right and as well what goes to the laptop you know what and for those who have been watching like my other videos for example like i have to go to b team i already told you about that but i had a hard time choosing my laptop like when i go into a buy mode let me just see here if i do a wall here will that connect on that perfect let's let's do it peoples let's connect it up and that's kind of like closed off perfect so now we get a little shape here. So what I was thinking, I was flying about and thinking, okay, so if we have a pool here on this side, we can have a little jacuzzi part on that side, and just a little long, long pool on this side. And it's not gonna be like a, hey, humongous pool, no, it's just gonna be one of those pools where you can like swim laps, right? Because this is kind of fancy house, you know? And so that's gonna be it. And yeah, I really have a hard time choosing pool, I like <laughs> laptops. Every single time I b bought a laptop, it's been like, oh, and geez. It's like, you know what, I read billions and billions of reviews and then do this and that and this and that. So it kind of semi-sucks me choosing a laptop, but I went for an Asus, right? I was thinking, Alienware, kind of cool, Razer Blade, kind of cool, MSI, kind of cool. But I went for an Asus Republic of Gamers laptop, which is the 7 uh, G750JZ, I think it is. And it seems to be pretty decent so far. I've tried to record some stuff uh, and it's working out perfectly fine, you know, no lag whatsoever, so it makes me really happy. Can I just do... Set, can I just set zero? Bam! I can just maybe do clear as well, but you know what, I'm not, I'm not a professional on this, so I'm just thinking, let's shape it out and be all happy about it. Um, I've been recording tons of games, for example, I tried to record, um, let me see, maybe a little jacuzzi part here, and then have a little seating area on this side. Yeah, that's gonna work out. Um, I went for a G750 JZ and been recording like Battlefield 4. No problem whatsoever. And uh, I mean, that's like full HD, ultra and high graphic settings. And I'm pretty impressed because I've never had a laptop which can record like Battlefield, for example, with no lag whatsoever. So it makes me kind of happy, happy panda. The only thing I kind of want to ask you guys is, you know what? I'm gonna be traveling a bit um, the coming the coming time, like the coming weeks and months and such. So what I need, I really need to get is a like a really really good headset. And I'm not talking about a headset like just oh sound, no, uh, a microphone. Because at this point I got the Blue Yeti microphone, which is like a standalone USB microphone, and it's awesome. But uh, it's really heavy, so I can't be and have humongous as well. So I can't be taking that around with me wherever I go. So I was thinking like, do you guys have any? good recommendation on a headset with a superb microphone. Jacuzzi! Bam bada bim bada boom boom boom! <laughs> it's so derp, but you know what? I love it! So let me see here, if I fill this with water, how you look, you look. It's gonna just be really small, alright? It's not gonna be any spectacular thing, but let's let's fill it up, let's fill it up and be like really proud about it. It's like a little jacuzzi type of thing. And then we can have a little chill out area here. Uh, you go by way now. There we go, perfect. I like that. It's kind of like concrete uh, feel for it at this point, but don't worry about it. We're gonna we're gonna do switcheroos later on. But as soon as we are here, let me just get some stuff done. All right. So let me see. Black clay. Where are you, black clay? Black stain clay. Let's go and do a little TV here. Maybe like this. Some about. Not too shabby. We can have a little sign, as we've seen on the Inspiration series, with buttons. I'm just gonna do the sign for now, we can always do buttons later on, alright? And then we're gonna have a painting just in front of that, just to like, yay! I'm not gonna furnish the house though, but I'm gonna like do stuff, so, aww! Perfect! <laughs> and a little bush of flower. So yeah, a good, good headset with a superb microphone. And that is what I need. And I've been looking at like some turtle beaches or so and stuff, but I don't know. I don't really know about the microphone because I don't want to have like really crappy microphone sound because in some way I'm gonna be recording videos, you know what? I'm gonna wanna keep up the quality on, on the sound department. Where do you find the brewing stands? There we go. Some bottles maybe. I don't really need know if I needed all of them, but yeah, I guess. Put it up here. And now we got a little station here. Call it what you want, right? I'm just calling it pretty. A pretty smacks delicious. And let's do a little couch here using the the snow caps, all right? And we're gonna see how that looks. So if I take you up here on this side, this is gonna be a little armrest thingy. And this goes here. So yeah, I wanna really wanna keep up the quality. So please do let me know 
guys if you have any good suggestions on on that okay maybe take it up here and take that in this is just a little chill out area well you know what got an idea let's do this and here what we could have let me just think about it we could have a little shower you know how it is like you know we gotta have a little shower because we've been in the pool just gonna shower it off so let me just get that here done <laughs> why am i doing this i should be building a house god damn it corrales <laughs> i'm such a derp at some points mm, yeah you know what that looks that doesn't look too bad but actually i can extend the couch again just because oops because oops. There we are, perfect. So now we got a little chill out area here, right? So we got a little jacuzzi part. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do the other side here. So if we just think, we got a two in width path here. So that's gonna be kind of symmetrical. You know what? Symmetrical shapes for the win, I gotta say. Can't neglect those symmetrical shapes. This is gonna be a little path going from the jacuzzi chill out area to the swimming pool, which will be situated over this side here. And as thinking, how big do we want the pool to be? That is the question. Should we have it like, let me just see here. Let me just dig down to the, this is bedrock, right? That, yeah, that was bedrock. And let me just go to here maybe, or no, even extended. Let's go from here. This is, this, this is nothing you have to like, you know, oh, he didn't count the blocks. What do I do? This is just for inspiration. We're going to tweak this in a later stage anyhow. So, set zero. Ba bam Oh, no. It's looking bad. Houston, we got a problem. And if I just, if I'm not mistaken, let me just first fill this up like that. Uh, let me see. If I pick you here and go all the way to the end, far end here and do, let me see here. Set 159. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know what? This might be really faily, by the way, but we're gonna see how this looks. It's gonna kind of be ending here, so I'm not really sure about the pool. If we should have a little border on that side, or if we should have it kind of open up to the wall. You know what? Let's have it open up. So what I'm gonna do is... But then again, it's gonna look really derp. Let me just see here. If I take you... This is just for trial, right? This is not nothing we might keep, but this is just for now. And do set stone on that side. <laughs> well, it kind of looks really derpalicious, but for now, this will have to do, okay? Uh, so don't go ragey bananas mode on this. We're gonna always tweak our stuffs if, oops, if we don't really think it looks really nice in, in the end. But for now, this will just have to do, and the bottom of the pool will be... Bam, bada bim, bada boom, 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 thinking. Maybe clay as well, just for now. So now we got a little swimming pool here. And this is nothing you have to like, oh my god, he didn't count the blocks. Because we might extend this pool outside the house. We might do a lot of tweaks and a lot of changes in a later stage. Because what I'm thinking is building something sim similar to this side on the back side, all right? So we kind of have the same shapes going, like this, for example. Can we maybe look? Two cuts in here. Can we extend this all the way up? No, let's just keep that because I like kind of like that shape. So let's just keep that. But this is something we're going to be going for the same shapes at least on the other side as this side. So don't don't really judge this yet. I like the space on the inside though. Look at this space. We still need to figure out where the staircase is going to go and such. But it's going to be huge space on the inside. We can squeeze in a, a few rooms in here, I guess, <laughs> in a later stage. Don't worry. All right, so there we go. From this side here to this side, let's fill this with... Ooh. Are you gonna be derping about swimming pool? Well, how the hell is this gonna look, by the way? Let me see. To this. Boom. Uh, water is like nine. Oh, baby. I'm not really sure I'm happy with this. But you know what? It doesn't look that bad now. We can always do some stuffs here, like designs in the wall in a later stage. But what goes for the pooling, you know what? It doesn't look really too bad now, does it? We could, although, you know what? If I bring this down here, then we have a little cool staircase design going here as well as the jacuzzi. And underneath here, let's just fill this with clay. And <laughs> it's really hard to see, by the way. Uh, like that. And have a little staircase going using the clay, all right? 
So now we have this going, so we can just kind of jump up from the pool. Or we could even go with this all the way down now, couldn't we? I know it might look really kind of... Yeah. You know what? That might look a really cool... Might be a cool feature. Like, you know how those fancy, fancy looking pools... Oop. Yeah, GG Skiralis. Underwater with shaders in, in like the shade. I know you can't see really anything from this at this point, but don't worry about it. So now we can just do 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 do. Perfect. Why you be all derpy texture, derpy? Doesn't really matter. It kind of looks really derpalicious from this angle, but doesn't really matter, no, does it? No. It kind of does. No. Let it be, Kiralis. Let it be. Or should we? Or should we not? Nah. Let's just go like this and change this to blue as well. Perfect. So there is a, there's a little swimming pool, I guess. And this might be extended. On the back side we have gonna have a barbecue area, but I know what, I think I've been recording for like ages now, so I might just call this a quits. But I like that little feature here, with the little window. I've been talking a bunch of crap, guys, but we do make some progress at least. Not as much as we did in episode 1. But this is gonna be the hard part, thinking out stuffs and where stuff's gonna be. What we could have here is some type of window situation going. You know what, kinda wanna have this all the way up for some reason. I don't think this is gonna look as good though. You know what, doesn't look bad. Now we can have some windows here. We're gonna have our window here for example, and let's see here, we can have maybe... I know this is a perfect spot for for a door, by the way, because we got the little entrance going here. But nah, let's have the main entrance over here instead. It's gonna be the main bifte bifte entrance, right? Hmm. Huh. I like it. So everybody, you know what? I'm not I'm not gonna bore you guys to death. This is episode two. Please do let me know what you think about this so far. But I think I'm in love. In the next episode, we're just gonna continue on the back here and kind of try to stitch it up together and close it off because we really need to figure out stuffs and as we did that wall on the other side a lot of this can be deleted and we can place windows on this wall overlooking the pool area see that's not a bad idea let me see where is you can i just i can just go delete all over the place right i can even go all the way down and all the way up if wanted but i'm not really sure how it's going to look really cool this is just for now, right? This is just for now, but see? That leaves us a lot of space for a big window overlooking the pool area. So we're gonna be in here, we can see the pool, but that wall will be tweaked because I don't really like that from this side for some reason. But that is something we're gonna work on the next episode, so thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and favorite. What goes for the bushes here? We could do this as well, by the way. Uh-huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know. We might we might destroy that in a later stage. So I think we're gonna add one more bush here. Yeah, let's do that before we quit. Cause well, doesn't really line up now, does it? Why you no line up, yo? Although you know what? Let's do this. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna solve all our issues. Then we get some bushes on that side. We can have bushes on this side, and that solves our bush issue now, doesn't it? Hopefully, it does. There's gonna be one extra bush here, which is not here, here, not here, here, perfect. I don't really, no, I don't really like that. Kind of looks really, really strange and off for some reason. Let's keep, let's keep an eye on, on free and hide. But the possibilities are there, right guys? So thank you so, so much for watching. We can have a little bush wall going here. And since we did kind of that divider here, we can have this kind of tweaked and make this lower or whatnot in a later stage. But that's going to be the next episode. Sorry for that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and favorite. And I, Kiralis, will see you in the next one. Thank you and bye-bye.